Hey guys, today I came to Kyoto, Japan. There's like a whole camera professional crew next to me right now and I'm filming with my iPhone. It's kind of humbling. So the reason I'm here is I don't have one. <laughs> Yesterday, I found out I passed my Japanese exam, which concluded my semester, which now means that I am on break. I thought, why not go to Kyoto for literally just one day and see what I can do? Cause I've lived in Japan for like a year now and I've never been to Kyoto or Osaka, which is like abnormal for somebody who lives in Japan for that long. But I've been to like Hiroshima, which is like even further away, which makes no sense. And I've even been to like Sendai, which is also further away. I came to Kyoto via the Shinkansen or the bullet train, which is also just an experience in itself. I love riding the bullet train. Something about it is just so fun. And the views from the window are just like so beautiful. You see like the most rural areas of Japan. Like it's so weird that these trains go through very rural areas and you're just passing by thousands of people who have like probably never been to Tokyo, let alone outside of Japan. And it's really interesting to see. It only takes like two hours via the train to get here. Whereas if you take like a bus or a car, it's like eight hours. That's how fast the bullet train is. That being said, the bullet train is kind of expensive. It's literally like $200 and that's with a good exchange rate at the moment, which is just about as much as flying. To me, the Shinkansen is more worth it. But I'm so excited to be here and even more so, I'm just so happy to be out of school. I finally feel like I have freedom to be able to do exactly this, like make YouTube videos, make TikToks, like all that jazz. Probably my like seventh time riding the Shinkansen. So I have a little bit of experience under my belt at this point. It just feels like a very luxurious experience. People get like beer and snacks to bring onto the train. But I finally made it to Kyoto. I don't know why I said finally, like honestly, it wasn't that long. It took me like three hours to get here. Let me give you guys a hotel room tour because it's actually kind of insane. I got upgraded a lot. <laughs> we got the front door. We got a full body mirror next to the front door. Look at this giant room. I feel like I'm in that Nikki Blonde video where she's in the hotel in West Virginia and she's like just wow West Virginia you've taken such good care of me mind boy that's amazing we got two beds I literally do not need two beds but I'll take it I literally have this entire balcony to myself and then look at this view gorgeous West Virginia that's so pretty and then this is not a mirror that's actually the bathroom a little kitchen vibe I will not be cooking for the 24 hours that I'm here hey major toilet situation very nice bidet toilet I do not have this at home which I wish I did this is my bathroom for 24 hours wow like look at this shower head that is like luxurious I don't think I've ever stayed in a hotel like this nice on my own accord but I walked into the bathroom and I was like oh yeah this is nice and then I see this i'm like what bro i have a sauna in my bathroom while this is cool and all, I don't think I would use it, to be honest. <laughs> As you guys can probably tell, this hotel is like incredibly nice and I feel really out of place and having a lot of imposter syndrome right now, but I'm kind of in shock that I get to stay here. Okay, I'm like really hungry right now after traveling all day and I barely ate breakfast, so we need to find something to go eat ASAP. Also, I literally came here with like no plan at all, which is not a good idea because now I don't know where to go <laughs> to get food or do anything. Just letting the day take me away. When I was riding the Shinkansen, I was watching anime and I remember that so many animes are not available in other countries and are available in Japan. I have to use a VPN for so many things in Japan. Even Google here is Google Japan so a lot of times when you look things up it's just all Japanese results. But I also get Netflix Japan so it kind of evens out. Which brings me to the sponsor of this video! Surfshark is a VPN provider that basically allows you to pretend you're in a country that you're not actually in but you can also connect to the country that you're in and can even get you things like flight deals sometimes which which I utilize. All I have to do is turn it on and it's like I'm not even in Japan. Literally the only reason I've been able to grow my TikTok so much is because I use a VPN and I have it on literally 24 seven. Like if I use a VPN while I'm on TikTok, then it shows my videos to people in America rather than people in Japan. There was actually one time when I moved to Japan when I posted a video and it literally went viral in Japan and all my comments were in Japanese. So that's why I started using a VPN because I wanted people to see my videos in America. So so I actually got an amazing deal for you guys with 
83% off and, and three additional months for free. That's a lot. If you want to sign up, the link is in my description and make sure to use code Kraus, C-R-O-U-S-E, my last name, to claim it. Love you. Okay, I actually found like a really cute cafe. Hey, Pokemon vending machine. That's so cute. Okay, that has curry. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with curry, like where I'm staying. So I'm going to go there. This place is actually so cool. It's called Sagan and the menu is a newspaper. Like, I'm definitely going to get the curry. I'm I've seen like, not in this restaurant, but when I was walking on the street here, there's more foreigners than Japanese people. Like what? Oh my God, I can smell it. It smells so good. I know your mouth is watering right now. This is my banana smoothie. It's so good. Y'all, I'm gonna sound so stupid. First of all, the food was so good, but now I'm craving something really sweet. So I was looking up places to get something like desserty, and I found this one place and I realized it was right next to the most famous part of Kyoto. When you Google Kyoto, it's the first thing that comes up. My hotel is like right next to it and I had no idea. I'm really happy about it, but I feel stupid that I didn't know that. Look at my ice cream. I'm so excited to eat this, it's matcha. This is kind of like, like a little bit lonely. There I said it. Like, yeah, I wish my boyfriend was here, but like I am having fun. This this place is really cool like i didn't know they had all of this in kyoto so it's all kind of new to me i'm like so used to tokyo that being here is like so weird that's really good moving on whoa uh, this is like kind of breathtaking like i knew it was cool but like it's so much cooler than i thought it was in person damn they weren't lying y'all like that shit is actually pretty fucking cool and the view is like insane what is my life that guy's shirt said allergic to boring people. Mood. I literally bought another ice cream. You're probably like, Ryan, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, me too. I really wanted another one. I'm literally like already drained because it is so fucking crowded here. I'm like really regretting not coming when the borders were closed because I was in Japan when the borders were closed, but I didn't travel enough. The streets of Kyoto were fucking empty during that time. And now it's like, I can't get a video without like 50 people in it. So. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Hey. Here's a little guy that carries people in a carriage. I'm so shameless about filming myself because I just always know no matter what the fuck I do, no one's ever going to say anything. No one ever says stuff to you. They might think you're weird, but they'll never confront you. I definitely look like really strange to this dude right now. He keeps walking back and forth, like watching me. I don't know what the goal is. I am having a good time though. Like the weather is so good. That's why I don't regret planning everything so much because in that sense, it's like everything is kind of a surprise. I don't like planning trips. It's too stressful for me. They're always carrying those heavy ass carts with a smile on their face. Like how? I would be so pissed if I had to do that all day. Fuck, what am I gonna eat for dinner? I think I'm gonna go back to my hotel, kind of like ground myself and figure out what the hell I'm gonna do. But I also feel kind of guilty because I want to spend time, as much time as I can here, because I'm only here for 24 hours, but I think I'm gonna come next month as well. Yeah, I'm going home. <laughs> I'm back and I'm already like so exhausted, but the sun is gonna set soon and I don't wanna miss it, but I don't know where to go for the sunset. And I feel really guilty if I like don't spend my time wisely here because I literally only have 24 hours. So I need to be like doing stuff. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, I'm so fucking tired. I just wanna like lay here and do nothing. I did stop at one of those stores like on the street and I bought these little charms. Oh my God, they're so fucking cute. Let me show you guys. I got this one, which is like a robo dog. It's so fun fucking cute and then this other one is like another robo dog <laughs> You might be wondering, Ryan, what are you going to do with those charms? Well, since I got a PS Vita, I've been wanting to decorate it. And PS Vitas have these little like hooks on the ends of them. So put two and two together. That's what I'm doing. Tell me this isn't the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. Like I kind of win. Boom. Anyway, I know no one gives a fuck about my PS Vita, but I do. So half of me is like, I love the whole spontaneous, not planning anything, everything being a surprise vibe. But also half of me is like, oh my God, I should have like planned shit out before. I got here so I knew what to do and wouldn't be like this. I don't want to force myself to do something if I don't want to do it because then I'm just not going to enjoy it, which at that point, what is the point? That's my update. Look at how pretty it is right now. Look. And I just had no fucking idea. I'm just in awe that like this is my life. It's actually kind of crazy. I have 
haven't felt this tired in so long. And I don't know what, that is a lie. I know exactly why I'm so tired. I slept for like six hours last night and I traveled today. That'll fucking do it. It's come to my realization that my hotel actually has an oxygen bubble bath, like whatever the fuck that means. I'm gonna try it. But it says that it has high cleansing power and warms up the body. But I already filled up the bathtub and apparently I'm just supposed to click this button and the oxygen starts going. So let's try it. Oh my God, it sounds like a robot. Whoa. Okay, I'll let y'all know how it is. It has come to my attention that there's a Starbucks in the area. So I'm going. Let's go. Fuck. I feel weird because I think the workers all know that I'm here because of social media. So I don't know if they've seen my social media or not. So it's kind of like awkward. Okay, hey, I just left Starbucks, but I actually think I'm gonna walk around a little bit because y'all, yeah. this area is actually so cute. Look at all the lights. But I think I'm gonna walk around just like off camera a little bit to try to like, you know, Soak it in and be in the moment. So yeah. I'm back and my phone died when I got back. So I already ate my Starbucks sandwich cause I didn't want to wait. So you don't get to see that. I'm so sorry. When I was walking back, y'all let's remember I am in Kyoto, not Tokyo. And I live in Tokyo. Tell me why when I'm walking back to my hotel, I run into a group of five people from my school. There's nothing wrong with that, but I was like, <laughs> What? <laughs> like, how? How? Foreigners in Tokyo is the smallest world ever. Like, you're always running into people that you know or that you know of. So, yeah, that happened. But I'm back in my hotel now. I ate my sandwich, drinking my Starbies, charged my phone. So, the vibes are definitely up. Oh, yeah, I also got a gachapon. I stopped by a little gachapon store. I got another chain for my PS Vita. Let me show you. Now, I don't even know who these bitches are, but I was obsessed. Look how cute she is. Look at that, y'all. I low-key feel like that could be annoying as fuck, like trying to play games with all this shit on it. And maybe it just looks cuter without. I don't know. What do y'all think? Maybe I could put it on something else. But anyway, I think I'm literally just gonna grind tonight and edit a bunch and sit in my hotel by myself while I'm in Kyoto, Japan. Literally sounds like the best night ever. I need fucking friends. I also forgot to mention one of the main reasons I booked this trip was because I failed my math class and I was so upset about it. Or technically, I didn't even really fail. I just withdrew from it because I was going to fail. So we always have next semester. Gonna work on this video. That's why I got Starbucks. It's literally like almost 10 p.m. and I got Starbucks, even though I'm so tired. Let's do it. I'm going to bed. I'm exhausted. It's like 1 a.m. now and I still have to wake up early. Good night and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's 9.30. My checkout's in like an hour and a half. I'm definitely gonna get coffee and like eat something for breakfast. And then I think I'm gonna go to like a couple more places around the area. I'm so fucking weird. Why did I do this? Like I came to Kyoto for 24 hours. I spent money on the train to come here and I'm like barely doing anything. It is cool to be here. Like, I mean, otherwise I literally would have just been sitting in my apartment in Tokyo. So I just like definitely do not have enough time to do like everything here. So I'm definitely gonna come back next month it is what it is i'm not ready to leave this hotel room it's so nice i slept so well this bed is so comfortable but i definitely want to be back in tokyo by like tonight once again it's a nice ass day outside i feel like a lot of this video i've just been complaining about this trip and i'm not like an insensitive person i'm definitely like really lucky that i get to do stuff like this it really is just the fact that i'm like doing this alone only for like one day one a little bit lonely and two i do not have enough time to do everything but we're making it work. It is so much different than Tokyo here though. Like I realized the people here, like staff workers are so much more relaxed than they are in Tokyo. Like in Tokyo, they're so like customer service driven. Not that they're not good in Kyoto, but they're way more laid back in Kyoto, which was like really surprising to see because at the cafe I was at yesterday, the worker was almost like mean to me. <laughs> and like that is not, not normal in Japan or in Tokyo at least. So I was really caught off guard by that. And then also just like the traditional aspect 
aspects of this place like everything is so much different it's obviously way more like traditional tokyo has like big high-rises and big buildings and stuff but here it's not like that like everything is way more just like chill and i really like it i've always thought like maybe i'll end up living in like kyoto or osaka in the future like who knows because a lot of foreigners do like move to the bigger cities in japan or they just move from that city to tokyo i've only lived in tokyo i would definitely give living in kyoto a try it seems pretty cool here i'm gonna get ready and then i'm gonna check out and then go get coffee because my brain is telling me i need coffee so fucking bad right now okay y'all it's time for me to check out like i wish this was my apartment <laughs> let's go bye hotel you'll be missed as much as i hate to admit it i got starbucks again deal with it finish that book off yeah i think i'm gonna go home <laughs> i like do not have any energy to like do anything oh my pants just came undone and it's time for me to go home to tokyo there are so many people here oh my god i'm excited to see my cat but thanks for coming with me it actually made it more fun to film this i love you see you in the next video subscribe